Mark is Mr. Maximum. Muscling the most out of each carry. Pushing to the limits is many gifts. Vision, balance, strength, burst. It starts with his stout heart and strong will, a refusal to surrender to a single tackler. Ingram has carried the time through the rugged SEC as both clock sure and game changer, tough and trustworthy as a blocker, receiver, and protector of the football. Just a single lost fumble in 429 career touches. Yeah, Mark was at his best versus Bama's five ranked opponents, averaging 201 yards from scrimmage, most of them after contact. And in those games, Ingram made six and a half yards a pop and had 27 runs of 10 plus yards. Now, Mark is named for his dad, who won a Super Bowl ring with the Giants here in New York. He grew up in Flint, Michigan, visited Alabama kind of on a whim, fell in love, and is the only Northerner on the team's roster. Now, Mark admitted to me when he, when he first got down there, didn't know that much about this Bear Bryant fella, but he's now immersed in the Crimson Tide lore, and tonight he might create a proud new milestone. point of the season for me was the South Carolina game, that final drive where we ran numerous amount of plays out of the wildcat and then we finished it off with a toss in the zone. They put the ball in my hands in a clear situation and I took advantage of that. Turns it upfield, he buries his head, he fights his way, he's in! Touchdown! I love Family Guy and Spongebob, I love to watch cartoons. Sometimes I like looking at the stars at night when the stars are, I like to find the Big Dipper. <laughs> When the ball is snapped and I get the ball, I just see, I just hear noises, pow, pow, you know, and then I just see flashes of different colors of jerseys and I just react to it. People ask me, what did I do or what did I see? I really can't tell you what I see because I, I, all I did was react. All the great players that have come through here, all the All-Americans, and there's not been one Heisman winner in Alabama. The fact that I have the opportunity to bring that trophy back to this program and back to the Alabama family and the coaches and the fans. I know I'd be really proud to do that for them. From now on, your name will be followed by the words Heisman Trophy winner. And so, here it is. In the closest race ever, the 2009 Heisman Trophy is awarded to Mark Ingram of the University of Alabama. It's a great honor to be a, a member of the Heisman uh, fraternity, and I'm just so excited to bring Alabama their first Heisman uh, winner. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God. I was so blessed, and without him, I wouldn't be been able to accomplish this. And I'd like to thank my family, my mother and my grandparents that sit right there. My father has been a great influence on my life, and I love him to death. All my aunts and uncles, my sisters. I'd like to thank my teammates. It truly is a team award. And They've had a tremendous amount to do with my success, and I just want to thank all of them, especially the offensive line. Thank my coaches for being here, Coach Saban and his wife, Miss Terry, um, Coach McElwain, our offensive coordinator, and running back coach, Burn Burns. 
I'd also like to thank our intern, Cedric Irvin, for being there for me, being my eyes on the field. He's been there for me since day one he's been there. I'd also like to thank President Dr. Witt for coming to support me and Athletic Director Mal Moore. I'd like to thank all our SIDs, uh, Jeff Puritan and Josh. They've helped made this a lot easier for me, this whole transition. The strength coach, Coach Cochran and all his staff have had a lot to, to do with my success. And I want to thank the, the trainers and all the teachers at our school, because <laughs> they're important too. <laughs> and, uh, most, most importantly, all these finalists right here, we were, they were all well-deserving. They're all great players, and they've helped their teams out tremendously, and they had tremendous seasons. But what is most important to me is the relationships I de developed with all of them. You see them all on TV, and it just means a lot to me to bond with them and find out the real pe people that they are. And we've developed relationships in Orlando in these, pa in these past two days that I would cherish for the rest of my life. And I'm really looking forward to being a part of the Heisman family, and so just thank you. Mark, I think, I think we can tell what it means that there's never any shame in, in wearing your passion and your emotions on your sleeve when, you, when you're faced with a moment like this. You, you'll get a trophy you're just like this, and, and you, you said what it means. Your portrait's going to be up here forever. So with all the championships and all the All-Americans, Bama now has a Heisman Trophy winner. <laughs> You felt the pressure. You felt the pressure of that, didn't you? They brought it up a lot down in Tuscaloosa this season. Yeah, just everybody that's in the Alabama family has been having my back, supporting me. I'm walking to class, students just flashing me the Heisman pose, and just <laughs> the student, I mean, just people back in Flint supporting me, telling me that they were praying for me, that they supporting me, and I was a winner. No matter what happened, it was just real important to me. Get the big win, the performance against Florida, and a big win against Auburn, but you didn't play well and you got hurt late. Despite getting that win, were there moments when you thought, I might have blown this, I might have blown my chance? In the back, it was in the back of my head, but the most important thing to me was that we got that win. Uh, I didn't have the best game ever, but I contributed in a different way. The passing game opened up, and Trent had a great game, and the whole offense just stepped up, and, we, and they uh, put together a great drive, and I'm just so proud of all, all of our teammates because we've had a great season. Next up, against Colt McCoy in Texas in the BCS National Championship game in January. You ready for this? Ready to handle the extra weight of this? It weighs 25 pounds. It can feel a lot heavier when you have to carry it. <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you pick it up? Give it a test drive. Mark Ingram, the third straight sophomore to win the Heisman and the first ever player from Alabama. And as we said, it was the closest race ever. Just 28 points. Mark Ingram separating Toby Gerhardt, who ran second place. That's much closer than the, than the Bo Jackson Chuck Long race back in 1985. Kirk, let's check out some of the regional aspects of this. Yeah, we talked about at the beginning of the broadcast, Chris, how important the three regions that didn't have a finalist, how that would turn out to be. And in fact, that's exactly where Mark Ingram ended up winning the Heisman Trophy. If you look at the Midwest, you can see Mark Ingram first, Toby Gerhardt finishing second. I'm going to hope that I can figure this out. You go back to the Mid-Atlantic. Again, Ingram wins the Mid-Atlantic. Gerhardt finishes second. And the same thing could be said for the final region in the Northeast. Mark Ingram making a statement all across the country and especially turned out in the three regions where we did not have a finalist. Ingram just edging out Toby Gerhardt. And as far as the Southwest and the South, this, the votes were split. Sue ended up winning the Southwest and uh, in the South, uh, Mark, Mark Ingram won there as well. And Adamic and Sue made a big statement for defensive players. He had the most points ever this year for a fourth place finisher. So there it is, your final tally. Mark Ingram in the closest Heisman vote ever. And I want the fraternity members to welcome in Mark. They enjoyed uh, your emotional speech, and now you get to know these guys and, and be a part of this group forever. Tim Tebow, come on up.